Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. So a couple of things has happened in the scene recently, and mainly it's been because of Macaulay, who is a security researcher, and what he has done is basically re-implement MasterCore, which came out by CTERT last year. Now, last year, what we saw happening was, was that you could basically be on a completely up-to-date PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 5, and if you had a modified game save for the game Okage Shadow King, well, then you could actually run some custom code. And today, what we have is we have a sample which displays Hello World. Now, yesterday, I covered this, and basically what I did was I created a video showing how that you're able to run this on a PlayStation 4 9.00 with a fake package. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually going to be showing you how I was able to get this working on a 10.01 fully patched PlayStation 4 in order to show that we can at least run custom code on an up-to-date system, which is very significant in my opinion. Now, if you want a lot more of the details of what happened when CTURT originally released this blog post right here. I have a video that I will link to where, you know, right around four months ago, I covered this in detail if you want to know more about the actual exploit itself. I would also encourage you to visit Macaulay's blog post right here, which is part two of the arbitrary PS2 code execution. Now, he also has a part one where he discusses what is exactly needed in order to modify a PS2 game save. And now if you want a walkthrough of how to do this with at least an emulator, then I also have a video right here that came out that walks through his part one guide step by step. But again, today what we're going to cover is getting this to run on a 10.01 PlayStation 4. Okay, so here I am on a PlayStation 4 that is running 10.01. As you can tell, I am signed in to the PlayStation Network. And one thing that you will need to do if you want to follow along with this is, is that you will need a PlayStation 4 running the latest system software or a PlayStation 5. And you'll also need a PlayStation 4 that's at least on the 9.00 jailbreak. So really, you need two systems in order to get this to work. Now, this game right here, since it's obviously running on a fully up-to-date PlayStation 4, this is the Okage Shadow King game that I bought, and I downloaded it to my console. So this isn't a fake package as I showed in my last video. Okay, and so the very first thing that I would suggest doing is going to your settings and then going down to storage. And then we're going to go down into the save data in the system storage. So what I would do here is I'd go ahead and I would select this Shadow King save and I would go ahead and delete it. You don't want anything on your system, at least at the beginning, in order to get this to run. So I'm going to delete it, and right now on my hard drive, I don't have any save game data. So now, let's go ahead and let's start up Okage Shadow King. And if you followed the video yesterday, then you will know that we need to play this game just for a few minutes. We'll press the start button here. And then we're going to go to a new game. And I'm just going to give it my name up at the top and press OK. And we're going to start. OK, so now we're going to need to play the game a little bit. I'm going to skip through this dialogue and then I'll jump back when it's time for us to go. OK, and just like yesterday, we need to exit this room right here. Go back up the stairs, go through this door and enter this one. And now we can take the option right here to save. So we're going to press save and we're going to go to file one and the save is complete. So that is really all that we're going to need the game for. Now go ahead if you can and go back over to your settings and we're going to go down to storage 
and we're going to go back into save data and you should see the save game right here. Now, at this point, we need to export this off of the PlayStation 4. So go ahead and insert a blank USB drive into your PS4 because we're about to copy that over there. So go to where it says Application Save Data Management, and we're going to go to Save Data in System Storage, and then Copy to USB Storage Device, and right there is our save game. So we're going to put a check in it and then we're going to press copy. Okay, now at this point, we're going to head over to a PS4 that is setting on 9.00 that we can run a tool called Apollo on. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to that PS4. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you have Apollo Save Tool installed. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But once you have a game save, go ahead and start the application. And we're going to go to USB Saves. And you're going to see right here there is this encrypted save. So if you press X on it, then you'll see that there is this view save detail. So go ahead and press X there. And now at this point, make sure you make a note of the account ID. So what I would do would be I would just store the account ID in a text file somewhere because we're going to need it in just a minute. And then you can press circle. And before we copy this save game to our hard disk drive, I think it would be absolutely worthwhile to go back into settings and then go down to storage and then go into save data. And you should not have anything in here that is regarding Okage. So if you have a save file in here that is on your hard drive, I would just go ahead and delete it at this point. Okay, and so if you load up Apollo save tool after making sure that the save doesn't exist on the hard disk drive, then the very first place that I would go to is that I would go to my hard disk drive saves. And if you go to any of these save games right here, what we want to do is to at least get the user ID. And so this user ID is not going to match the user ID that is on your PlayStation 4 retail system, but you can use this user ID in your final save game that we're about to build. So I would just make a note of this user ID or whatever user ID that you've got. Now, one thing that you'll note right here is, is that for the account ID, this has all zeros. When it has all zeros, that's basically a local account. Okay, and now at this point, before we move our Okage save from our USB drive to the hard disk drive, we need to make a modification to the Apollo save tool itself. So let's jump over to Windows and take a look at this. Okay, so at this point, I've went ahead and I've loaded up the GitHub page for Apollo save tool. And if you scroll down into this just a little bit, you're going to see offline account activation. So it says to activate an account offline, go to the user tools menu and select activate PS4 accounts. By default, the local account will be activated with an auto generated account ID value. Now it says right here, custom account ID settings. For offline account activation, if you want to override the auto-generated ID used by Apollo, then you can define your own account ID values using the owners.xml file. And then it has an example right here. And it does say that this file must be saved to the data Apollo owners.xml folder. And so what I found so far with my testing is, is that it's really just the account ID that it's checking for in the retail version of Okage Shadow King that is on a 10.01 system. So I basically took this format right here and I put this inside of a document called owners.xml and then for the owner name, I basically just used my display name. For the user ID, I just used the user ID that was generated from the system. 
Now for the account ID, as you can see right here, this does match the account that I got from my USB drive that is tied to my 10.01 PlayStation 4. So we need to FTP this owners.xml file over to the PlayStation 4. Okay, and so at this point, I've loaded up FileZilla and I have connected to my PlayStation 4 and I have simply copied over my owners.xml file that we just created to my data slash Apollo folder. And so if you have yours in there and it looks just like this, then you are in good shape. Now, if you have Apollo save tool loaded, go ahead and just close it completely because we want it to pick up our new owners file. So now go into Apollo and we're going to go over to user tools and we're going to go to activate PS4 accounts. And right here is user one. And as you can see, it still has the zero. So in order to activate it, we're going to press X here. And right there is going to be the XML file that we defined a little bit earlier. And so now at this point, I'm going to use the one that we specified in the owners.xml. And it does say the account successfully activated. So go ahead and press OK there. And if it still shows like it's showing right now in this example that it's just zeros, my best option for you is to come back into Apollo Save Tool close it out, restart it again, and then we're gonna go back over to user tools, activate PS4 accounts, and as you can see, it has been activated as our user one now has the 377 attached to it. So head back over to USB saves, and we're gonna to go to our encrypted save, and we're going to copy that save game to the hard disk drive, and we're going to take the option now to re-sign it because we specified the account ID. So now it says the encrypted save was copied successfully. And note here that this is 2199 and it is 97129. So we're going to go ahead and press OK here. And now we're going to go back to our hard disk drive saves. And there is Okage Shadow King. We're going to press X here. And we're going to go down to where it says export decrypted save files. And that's going to be the vmc0.card. And here is where it exported it to. So let's switch back over to Windows. Okay, and so now if you navigate to Data Apollo and then your user ID as shown right here, then you will see that there is a couple of folders if you've installed the fake package. So 2199 is actually the game save from the PlayStation Network store for Okage Shadow King. Now this one right here, which has 2282, this is actually the save game for the fake package. And this one will not do you any good on an actual retail or up-to-date system. So going back to the 2199 save, if we go back into his GitHub and we go to samples, PS2, hello world, bin, and then PS4, we need to take this file right here and we need to copy it inside of this directory. And okay, right here is his dot card file. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. And again, we're going to press OK here. And once this completes, let's switch back over to the PlayStation 4. OK. And so you can now press OK on that. And we're going to go to import decrypted save files. And we're going to select the VMC0 dot card. And now that has been imported successfully. Now at this point, you're gonna to want to go over to settings and then application save data management. You're gonna to want to go to save data in system storage and then copy to USB storage device. So we'll go ahead and press okay there. And right here is the save. And it will say that it is a non-installed application, mainly because this PS4 is on 9.00, so I can't install the PlayStation Network version. So we'll hit X to go inside of that, and we're going to select copy here. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes right here. 
Okay, so I'm back over on my PS4 10.01, and I have just inserted my USB drive. And so now we're going to go back over to settings right here, and we're going to go down to application save data management, and then saved data on a USB storage device. We're going to copy that to our system storage, and right there is going to be our modified save game. So I'm going to go ahead and press copy right here. And we are going to overwrite the save data that is already on the system. So we're going to select yes here. And now just to show you that again, I am on the very latest system software. Here I am at 10.01. Now, if we go into Okage Shadow King, and we try to restore the save game, then it should work. Okay, so we'll press start here, and we're going to restore a game. And there it is. On a 10.01 system, we have Hello World or Hello PS4 showing up. And that is absolutely amazing for a system that is running the very latest system software. Okay, and so that is going to do it for this one, and I will see you on the next one. Michael, out!